Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be about favorites. These are my current favorites that I have. Um, you could say it's a May favorites, but I'm a little late posting. Sorry, but I've just had a crazy busy schedule this week. Um, I took a little vacay and uh, went out of town for a little bit. Got a little bit of sun, you know, just needed some relaxation. So anyway, let's just get started on uh, my favorites for May. <laughs> Um, the first thing I want to show you guys is something that I know I've talked about before, but I just kind of gave a little quick review of it and let you guys know about it. And I think um, I may have linked it in a description box on that video. I'll try to post that video up uh, for you guys because I'll talk a little bit about it. But I'll, I'll talk a little bit more because I just can't get enough of this stuff. This is the Rusk... Um, elixir mist for your hair this is a thermal shine mist and this stuff is so good you guys if you have like frizzies or flyaways or whatever spray a little bit of this on your hair and style it as usual you can do it wet or dry it doesn't matter you can spray it directly on your hair and work it through with your fingers or brush it through you can spray it in your hand and work it through that that way it works no matter what you do because i've tried it all different ways and i absolutely love it it gives my hair this really nice um shiny glow about it um, i've had several people approach me and be like what have you done to your hair lately? It looks so good. So that is the reason why. And I think you can find it at Walmart um, or you can order it online. I think they have a website. I'll link all that information below for you guys. Um, a new product that I found as well is um, a cleansing gel. And this is the, it's new from Neutrogena. It's called the Hydro Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel. And this stuff, it has a little pump on it, which I love. Um, but you, I use it in the shower when I'm taking a shower. I turn my water down where it's not hot. It's just for like a lukewarm. And I spray a couple pumps in the palms of my hands and I work it into a lather. And then I just put it all over my face and then I rinse as usual. And when I get out of the shower, my skin just feels fresh and clean. It has a really nice smell to it. Doesn't smell like a lot of chemicals. It's just really fresh smelling as well. Um, so this can remove oil, dirt, makeup. It says it's clinically proven to increase skin's hydration level and lock it in, leaving skin refreshingly clean and touchably supple every time you cleanse. It's soap free oil-free, paraben-free, it's hypoallergenic, and non-comedogenic. So, um, yeah, it's some really, really good stuff. Um, so if you can, if you get by Walmart or wherever, because that's where I got mine, I think it was like seven bucks, but I'll link all the information in the description bar below. But that is uh, my like go-to cleanser right now. It's really making my skin feel and look great. So just... Um, little info there for you guys uh, my next product that is one of my all-time favorites i've been using this for a while now and i don't think i've ever included it in on a favorites video or anything else but i really do want to give props to this company and this product um, this is rodan and fields this is their self tanner and um, this is the essentials foaming sunless tan this stuff right here is so good you guys I like you apply it, I have a mint that you use, and you just apply it all over, and then I usually go back like over my elbows, on my wrist, and um, my feet and stuff like that, my knees, I'll go back over those areas with a moisturizing lotion, um, just to keep this from getting too dark in those areas, because any kind of sunless tanner is gonna do that. Uh, but this one's really good. It leaves you with a natural looking glow. It doesn't get too, too dark, and um, it just leaves your skin looking sun-kissed and refreshed. I think it's 26 or $28, and this thing has lasted me a while, and I still have plenty in there. It comes out like a foam. You spray it directly on your, on your body or on the mitt, and then just uh, work it in. 
smoothed it all over and you're good to go. It does not transfer to clothes or your sheets or whatever. Um, so yeah, I like to do it. I like to take a shower and exfoliate really well. And then when I get out, um, pat dry and then apply that and go to bed. And when I wake up in the morning, I've got a nice looking tan. It's really good stuff. Although I don't have any on right now. I'm just pale. Speaking of exfoliating, I found something that has really been um, beneficial to my skin because it reaches all those hard to reach places like your back, like middle of your back. It's really hard to, you know, reach that area with a loofah or anything unless you have one with a handle and those things usually break or they're not strong enough or I don't know, I just don't like using those. Plus you've got to hang, find somewhere to hang them. It's just if they they fall off all the time from my little shelf in the bathroom so um, but I picked this up and this has been a godsend you guys it's really long this is an exfoliating um, strip and I mean look how long that is it's perfect to go back behind your back and just really get uh, some good action going on back there you know what I mean uh, and then you can like put your soap on it or whatever body bath um, I use like the Dove coconut exfoliating um, um, shower gel, bath wash, body wash, whatever you want to call it. And I just squirt a little uh, like a uh, nickel size in here and then I scrunch it up and wet it. And then I just use it like a rag all over like a loofah or whatever and just scrub all over. It really does the job. When I'm done, it rinses out really easily and then I fold it up and... Uh, hang it over my shelf like a like a cloth and it dries and you're good to go for the next time I love it I got that at Walmart I think it was like two dollars it's just such a great buy okay so I think that's all of my skin care um, and hair care body care kind of stuff uh, let's get into um, eyelashes I've got two favorites this month I have the Ardell um, I think yeah these are the double up and these, I've been wearing these every now and then you'll see a video of me wearing these. And I wore these out a couple of weeks ago and got so many compliments on them. Everybody was like, wow, you know, where did you get your lashes at? Are those extensions? You know, so they're really great. Um, and you can reapply them several times. They last for a while. And I think they're like $2.97. So they're not, it's not too bad. But these, the LA Colors, they were out of these for a long time. I couldn't find them for a while, but I finally found them again at um, Dollar General, believe it or not. It, was it Dollar General? No, Family Dollar. I'm sorry. Family Dollar. And they have all the LA Colors, you know, nail polishes and stuff like that. But these are the lashes. And I always wear either the Dazzling or the Daring. And that's what these are right here. And so those are really good. 98 cents. You cannot beat that, okay? 98 cents, people, for eyelashes. And you can wear them over and over again as well. Okay, and speaking of eyes, you all know that this is my go-to mascara here lately. This is the um, CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara in the color black. Um, this stuff is so good. I love the wand. It's very thin. It's got like a little, um, uh, I don't know what do you want to call that on the top, like a little um, burst on the top of the little bit more bristles there. Uh, but this stuff is so good to really lengthen your lashes and to give them good volume. And it's really great to get the um, lower lashes as well because that wand is very thin. It doesn't leave, you know, like you don't have uh, mascara all down here when you're done. It's a really good mascara. It wears uh, well long throughout the day. I mean, I don't have any issues of it flaking or smudging or anything like that. So uh, if you get a chance, you can go check that out. I got mine at Walmart. I think it was $7. So a really good deal there. Um, some more eye products that I picked up. I picked these up, I don't know, about three or four weeks ago and I just haven't really um, had time to use them until the last maybe week, week and a half. But And I'm actually wearing one today. These are the uh, Tarte High Performance Natural um, Tartus Pro Glitter Liners. Let's see. And um, this one is in the color rose gold. I have two. Um, this is the rose gold one. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, I'll swatch it for you. On one end, you get like a solid, a creamy color. 
I guess that's like your base. That's what I've been using it as, like a base. And then uh, on the other end, see, I already have swatches on my hand from lipsticks I was trying out earlier. <laughs> the life of a YouTuber, right? Beauty YouTuber, that is. Um, but yeah, I was swatching some lipsticks earlier, so just ignore that little area. But I'm going to show you guys. Now the glitter part on one end, it's just glitter, um, but it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty nice though. Can you guys see it right there? Um, the first one right here closest to me, uh, to my finger, is the um, solid. It's this end, and then the glitter is the one next to it. It's very pretty. Um, it goes on really nice. I'm wearing it right now. So I really love this stuff. I think it was $24, but they were having a sale. Buy one and get one half off. So um, I think it was during the Sephora VIB sale I got this. But um, yeah, so I got the rose gold one. And then I got the, um, the white gold. It's called white gold. And it's just a regular gold, gold color. Same thing, you get glitter on one end and then a solid on the other, like a base. So I love those. They they go on well, they wear well, they don't really smudge or come off. Once you get them on, they're good to go. So those are really nice. Um, for my brows lately, and you know, I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz a lot, and that's what I'm wearing today. But Honestly, nine times out of ten, I've been going for this benefit gimme brow. I I don't remember if I got this in one of my um, reward little packets that you get when you order from Sephora or if I bought it. But I think it was in like one of the little, um, you know, you get to pick a, a reward, you know, if you get so many points or whatever. So I think I got this with my points. But um, it has a little uh, wand in there. And I got the color... If there is a color I don't know I don't think there is a color but this was the the lightest one they had it's a number one so it's for blondes and I got it and basically you just comb it through your brows and you're good to go so if you have nice shaped brows this is really good um, to use so if you need some filling in then you'll have to use a pencil but if you have hair there it will you know smooth out the hair and make it more visible it's really nice so I found a new website um, we're moving on to lips now because I found a new website and it's called shop miss a and I went on there and I ordered a couple of things um, I forget what all I got on there but one of the things that I ordered has really been um, something that I just grab all the time here like that find myself grabbing it putting it on I don't have it on today because it was too dark for the look that I wanted to do today but this is the AOA studio wonder metal liquid lipstick can you guys hear my chair creaking it's getting on my nerve um, yeah gonna have to put some oil on it or something I don't know but it comes with the doe foot applicator And um, this color, you guys, I'm going to swatch it on this other hand since I have everything in the world under over here on my left hand. Let's put this on my right. It's so pretty. And when it dries down, oh my goodness, it's got this metal sheen to it. Can you guys see that? Not sure if you can be able to see it, how pretty it really is. But it's so pretty. So I've been going for that color. And then another lip product that I've really been digging for quite a while now is the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in the color Back Talk. I'll swatch this for you guys too. Um, this stuff is so pretty. So, so, so pretty. And it dries down and neither one of these come off once they're on they're on and they wear the 
um, the AOA one wears for about 10 to 12 hours and then the uh, Vice one, the Urban Decay one, will wear for about 8 to 10 hours uh, depending on if you eat, you know, and stuff like that. It does break down once you start eating with it on, but it's not too bad and it's easy to reapply and so yeah, they're both really good. They don't leave your lips dry. They leave them feeling uh, moisturized and and nice these two that I have on here these are two lipsticks I don't have them on my favorites because I just got them I was just trying them out so I don't know um, how they wear but uh, so far they're not transferring I mean I'm rubbing on them and nothing's coming off so they're staying put so yeah I'll wear them sometime this week and next week and give a little review on those I think one is Anastasia Beverly Hills and the other one I got from Morphe it's one of their liquid lipsticks so Oh, no, it wasn't. It was not Morphe. It was BH Cosmetics. So, um, all right, so let's move on to palettes, um, eyeshadow palettes and contour palettes. You guys know I just ordered these and did a little try on a review of this the other day. This is the Morphe uh, 9BZ um, contour palette. I love this palette. I'm wearing this color right here today it blended out so nicely it was so smooth and the color matches my skin so perfectly so if you're light skin dark skin medium skin it doesn't matter this palette's going to have a color for you i promise you and i think it was like 14.99 or 16.99 i don't remember but i'll link it below and then also i picked up this eyeshadow palette and it's become my favorite i've been wearing this every day since i got it these are a little hard to open but once you get them open you got the goods this is the 35N. These are all matte eyeshadows. And I mean, I have really been giving this palette a run for its money. It was $22.99. And uh, I'll link all the information down below for you guys so you can go order that if you want. And then this one I've talked about a million times on here. I've done a couple of looks with this. I've done a review. This is my absolute all-time favorite palette. It does have a lot of fallout, guys. So... Uh, just tap your brushes when you're using this, but other than that, these colors are amazing. Like, in the packaging, it's just, oh, I love this palette. Um, but yeah, look at these colors, you guys. Spring, summer, fall, winter, you could really go all year long using this palette. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's kind of big to travel with, but let me tell you, I took it with me when I traveled and you can see, I mean, I really dug into this palette. Those, uh, colors, you know, I've really used pretty much every one on here. Um, I think with the exception of these two darker ones up here, I have not used yet, but pretty much everything else I have tried and used. So, uh, this is like my all time favorite palette. Okay. Um, last but not least, let's talk about smell. Everybody likes something that smells good. And my daughter, oh my goodness, I can't even thank her enough, but she went above and beyond this year for Mother's Day and she picked me up this Daisy by Marc Jacobs. She got me the um, Daisy Fresh, I think it was. And I wore it one day and it really just did not mix well with my uh, chemistry you know like you'll wear a pro you'll smell it in the bottle and it smells great and you're like oh my gosh I love it and then you'll spray it on and you'll wear it and you'll later on you're like hmm yeah that didn't smell good and that's kind of how it was I wore it for like a week three days to a week and every day I would spray it in the morning and by you know nine ten o'clock that morning a couple hours later I'd be like what's that smell it was me <laughs> y'all it was me it did not smell good on me at all and people were like what are you wearing I'm like don't ask okay so i ended up taking it back and i ended up getting just a regular daisy and this stuff smells so good on me it's not even funny i love it um it come she got me it came with the big bottle of perfume and then like a little oh it that one's gone it's in my purse y'all <laughs> it comes with a little um um, what am I trying to say here? Rollerball, you know, that you can travel size from sticking your purse. And that's where it's at. It's in my purse. And then I think this is a body lotion. Yes, body lotion. So, um, it smells so good and it is just a great perfume to have to add to my collection. Anyway, those are my monthly 
favorites for May. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Please like the video. Leave me a comment below because when you guys interact with me, I really love talking to you, um, telling me things about yourself, and I tell you things about me. It just makes me feel so much better whenever I know that I'm reaching you guys. And so if you don't mind, go ahead and just leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about some of these items. Maybe you don't like some of them or maybe you love them. Maybe you want to try them. Just let me know. Also, if you don't mind, just share this video with your friends, your family, whatever. Put it on your Facebook and uh, Twitter and stuff like that. I'm just really trying to reach my goal for a giveaway, which I'll have a video coming up next about that. I'm having a huge 1K giveaway. I'm still adding products to that box, y'all. I've ended up taking it out of a box and putting it into this big, big bag. Um, so, yeah, just um, I will show you guys in the other video about that giveaway. If I can reach my goal of a thousand by August, y'all would make me so happy. I just want this channel to grow. I want to reach as many people as I can so that I can help you guys save money, find better value in makeup, and um, just learn and grow together. You know what I mean? So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching. And as always, be good to yourself and each other.